Hello, this is a quick tutorial on uh, deforming objects using the cage edit command. Here's a clip that we've um, modeled and tested and it's a little bit too loose so I just need to tighten it up in this bottom area here. So rather than recreate all these surfaces and then in which case we'd have to go ahead and uh, re redo all these uh, fillets and blends. I'm just going to go ahead and use the cage edit command. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, whoops. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to move it in by roughly 15,000. So I'm going to go ahead and offset this curve. But yeah, 15,000 is okay. And I'm just going to use that for reference. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a cage and that's under the transform menu so I'm going to do a cage edit select the captive object which is this one right here and I'm going to use a bounding box and I'll go ahead and accept that and the number of control points I want in this particular instance this looks like uh, the default looks right uh, what I'm looking for four points in each direction so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and accept that and there's the box I'm going to use so I'll go ahead and turn the points on yeah that looks about right and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these and these and pull them in a little bit and use this curve here for reference which is the one I've just created so uh, I'm going to go ahead and select those, hold the shift key and the ones on the other side and then I'm going to use the gumball and just bring that in. So I'll go ahead and grab this, scale button here and bring that like that, there we go, so move that in, you can see coming up here. I haven't affected that at all. So there we go. That looks pretty darn good. That's about what I'm looking for, actually. Yeah, we've got a pretty decent transition there from 15,000 disappearing all the way to nothing. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Uh, let me turn those points off and I'm going to go ahead and turn that off also and let's just take a look at this and if I analyze it you'll see that let's see where are we um, edge tool show edges okay so there's no naked edges so the it's still a watertight object so we, we go ahead and test, uh, print it again, test it, and if it's still not right, all we gotta do is, uh, same as we did before, bring up this uh, editing box, turn on the control points, and pull it in a little bit more if you need to, you know, if you wanna do it 10 thousandths, 15 thousandths, whatever, like I did before, you just uh, offset that curve a little bit for reference and uh, away you go. So it's just a really, really fast and easy way of uh, refining things like fits on objects like this clip. Just a great, great way of doing it and really, really fast. So thanks for it, that concludes this tutorial. So thanks very much for watching.